Hi, this is Jason Penrose with the Penrose team at eXp Realty. Thank you for tuning into Jason Penrose TV. Today we're going to talk about does it make more sense to sell a home and move at the end of the year or the first part of the year? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it. Thanks again for tuning in to Jason Penrose TV. Today we're talking about does it make more sense to move in the latter part of the year or the first part of the year? I'm gonna give you some advantages of making a move now versus waiting until the first of the year to make your move. What's interesting is that any buyer or seller who moves in the fourth quarter typically needs to move because the holiday time is a stressful time for a lot of people. And of course, making a move only compounds that. So anybody who needs to buy or sell during that time has motivation. Why is that important? Well, as a seller, you want motivated buyers to come out and see your property and put an offer in and close on the deal. Also, as a seller, you want less homes on the market for sale because you don't want a lot of competition for that buyer because that hurts your price. So for sellers, it makes a lot of sense to move in the fourth quarter and get your home sold and not compete with all the homes that come on the market after the holidays are over at the first part of the year. For buyers, what's the big advantage? I can tell you right now as a, for a buyer, the big advantage is any seller who's selling in the fourth quarter probably needs to sell, which means they are motivated to get the home sold. You'll probably get the best deal and more importantly, rates where they are now. You roll into the first part of the year, you roll the dice on a higher rate. So remember the old saying, you marry the home, but you date the rate. So if you buy a home now and close, and in the first part of the year, if rates were to come down, there's no projections that that's going to happen. But if it were to happen, you can always refinance and drop your rate and lower your payment. However, if you wait till the first part of next year and rates continue to go up, you could be priced out of the home that you want to purchase. So it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and buy and sell now in the fourth quarter and the end here of the third quarter and the beginning of the fourth quarter of 2022. If you have questions though, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text at 602-738-9943. Make sure to share this video with friends and family. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Make it a great day.